Wednesday, March the 2nd, it is pretty out here. This is the first time I've saw the ground dry since December, I guess. And I'm going to plant early peas. I am so excited that it is warm enough to do something. <laughs> We got a little piece there turned and I'm going to put me about three rows of snap peas, sugar snap peas right through here. But I got a little compost that I want to put on. We've past few years, look at how good that is. Look at all the worms in it. Yes sir, that's some real stuff. We'll get this on here. Thanks to these guys. We'll, can, we'll let the ground dry a little bit and put a little compost on it, turn it under one more time. Post start raining this weekend. I'd like to have it all done by tomorrow. Hello, hipper. Let's get back to work, boys. I got to moving this. I want you to look at the worms in that compost. I can't get over that. Made three little trenches, about two inches deep about three foot apart they're 20 foot long you don't have to have this much area i just want a lot of room to work around these things because they'll come and go pretty quick but you want to worry about your spacing about an inch apart these are a little bit thicker than the inch apart but i didn't feel like bending over so i'll weed them out when they come up when you get them up here just rake about an inch of dirt back over top of them use your hole your foot whatever you got just cover them up real lightly I had to go get a hole that bending over was breaking my back we'll keep an eye on this little pea patch so we'll see how it does together got my peas get out of there come on got my peas and put your chickens up you can't grow nothing with a chicken there those put you a little stick up at the end of, at the end of each row so you know where your rows are till they come up that way you don't lose them in the weeds because you're going to have weeds and i'm not going to put my carrot bed over here like i was talking about because i get tired of having to fight them carrots carrots are so temperamental to start so what i'm doing is i'm starting them here in these tubs the soil is a whole lot softer and the carrots will naturally grow straight down better than they will in the hard ground and I'm gonna do this tub right here still needs to be sewed. These are just uh, scarlets, natty's natty scarlets. Just a carrot that I got. Now you don't carrots are kind of hard to fool with. Sometimes I can do them, sometimes I can't. But I'll just take a little bunch of seeds and I'll just drift them around in that tub. Now there's way more seeds that I'm putting there than I'll ever need, so I'll have to thin these whenever they come up. But you don't want to water them in. Don't well, you don't don't water them carrots in. Let, let the let the dew take them carrots in. Uh, the rest of these tubs are sowed. Don't water them carrots. Don't touch that dirt. Don't do anything because if you just you do that right there, they won't come up. Let the let nature take them things down in there. I'm gonna cover them with a little something here in about two days before the rain starts because I don't want rain beating them down in there. But let's look at them again in a few weeks and see what they look like it takes them 11 to 15 days to germinate for me a lot of times so we'll see give me an old lake it's my boy there was uh three little rows of peas and they're small for a reason and then i put those carrots in that those little tubs for a reason too if you want to grow a garden you better grow one if you ain't never grown one before um Ask somebody who has, or someone who's doing it, they'll be more than glad to help you, I'm sure. If you think you want to grow a garden, and you really got a place to put it, try it. If you're not certain about it yourself, get yourself some pots, and you can grow these peas in pots. Just put you two or three seeds, you know, get you two or three peas in each pot, and have you about two or three pots of them. You get way more peas off that than you think. And I, they're so good, I love them. It's getting warm and it's getting time for moving around and getting ready for stuff like this. So if you like early stuff, it's not right now while the ground's dry for the next couple of days, right here in zone 6A, you can get out some peas, you can get out onions and lettuce. I'm gonna do some black seed Simpson down there too. Uh, here to probably tomorrow, just a small batch, so I have onions and lettuce. 
Yeah. All that stuff's so good. And it makes you feel so good to grow it. See you guys. Say bye, Lakin. Say bye. Happy rabbit. Mm.